Historically, there are two towering figures associated with Onmyodo, Kamo no Yasunori and Abe no Seimei. I will primarily discuss how these figures connect with concepts in the manga Mao by Rumiko Takahashi, rather than their historical lives. Kamo no Yasunori's demon sighting gifts are referenced in the initial test Mao and Daigo are given as children to see if they have the basic insight to begin their Onmyodo training. The inheritor of Yasunori's role was Abe no Seimei. Seimei was Yasunori's pupil and was given the prestigious position focusing on astrology and divination while Yasunori's son was placed in charge of calendar creation. While there is no evidence to suggest the decision to favor Seimei over Yasunori's natural son was contentious, the question of succession is one of the central mysteries that drives the storyline of Mao. In the manga, the titular character, a student of inferior ability, is named as inheritor of the clan. Unknown to the protagonist, he is actually a target for an assassin that will become the true heir. Born in 921 CE, Abe no Seimei is directly mentioned in chapter 35, when Nanaka tells Shiraha that she believed Seimei was merely a modern video game character, a reference to his pop culture associations in modern Japan. Abe no Seimei's Mon, or family crest, is the pentagram, which is the five-pointed star used to denote the Wuxing elements. This is why the main antagonist and famed fictional Onmyoji, Yasunori Kato, in Taito Monogatari, known in the West as Dune Megalopolis, has the pentagram on his gloves. The historical Abe no Seimei was also surprisingly long-lived for someone in the early 11th century. As a result, legends began to associate him with Taizan Fukun, literally the Lord of Mount Tai, the guardian deity of one of the holiest mountains in China. Taizan Fukun becomes the name of the life-extending technique central to the main storyline of Mao. This mythological figure, Taizan Fukun, became associated with the underworld and was placed in charge of writing names in the registers of life and death. These Chinese Taoist beliefs became popular in Japan during the Heian period, which is chronologically where the early portions of Mao take place. The Heian period is also the actual historical time of Abe no Seimei and the proliferation of Onmyodo. This passage is from the Taoism Handbook by Livia Kohn, which discusses Taizan Fukun. Taizan, the sacred peak of the east, is located in Taishan, China, and was thought of as the residence of the dead. Its mountain lord, Taishan Fukun, served as the ruler of souls. The Taishan peak was central to imperial sacrifices, and when the emperor made his ritual rounds throughout the country, the sacred peak would be visited first. In Japan's late Heian, the 11th through 12th centuries, two further Taoist beliefs became popular in Japan, that of the Lord of Mount Tai and that of the celestial administration of the underworld, run by a multitude of hierarchically organized deities. Following ancient Chinese beliefs, the Lord of Mount Tai, Taizan Fukun, was thought to reside in the sacred mountain of the east and serve as the ruler of fate, longevity, and good fortune, controlling the registers of life and death. He was a key subject for prayers for the avoidance of disasters and extension of life. Heian texts also mention other life-giving gods, including general officers such as the heavenly administrators, the departments of earth and water, the rulers of fate and emoluments, the head of the six departments, the specific deities such as the northern emperor, the gods of the five realms, and the stars of the northern dipper. A total of 12 groups of gods were offered silken coins and prayed to for support in life and the extension of longevity. The mention of the Big Dipper in the previous passage from the Taoism Handbook is significant due to Mao's sword and its connection to the constellation. Mao's cursed sword, the Hagunsei no Tachi, is named for the seventh star in the Big Dipper. The name Hagunsei literally translates as military breaking star and is supposedly a dark omen for military campaigns when this star points in the direction of an upcoming battle. Another historical aspect of Onmyodo is the power to curse others. In the manga, there are a number of warnings about the danger of curses. While powerful weapons, it is said that any curse can be reversed back upon its creator. This is shown for the first time when Mao savagely reverses the deadly curse that took the shape of an oni against the unskilled Sogen in chapter 11. 
We later see that Mao's master has also survived a number of reversed curses that have been sent back to him over the years. The mask he wears hides the grotesque evidence of this fact. One story of Abe no Seime is particularly useful in illustrating the power of cursing and the reversal of a curse. From Naoko T. Reader's book, Japanese Demon Lore, Only from Ancient Times to the Present, the author writes, in a story that appears in Uji Shui Monogatari, or a collection of tales from Uji, old Seimei sees a handsome young chamberlain cursed by a Tengu, a crow-shaped genie. The genie is sent by an enemy yin-yang diviner, and the young man's life is in danger. After sunset, Seimei kept his arms tight around the chamberlain and laid protective spells. He spent the night in endless, unintelligible muttering. Seimei's protection is so strong that the genie is sent back to the enemy diviner and kills him instead. Another historical example that can be tied to Mao is from chapter 52, when the hair and fingernails of enemies are provided for curses. This passage is from The Way of Yin and Yang, a tradition revived, sold, adopted by Lee A. Butler. The emperor's annual observances were an eclectic mix, including festivals of song, dance, poetry, archery, planting and harvest, as well as more weighty matters, indigenous purifications and exorcisms, Buddhist prayers and rituals, and various Confucian practices, of which some can be classified as onmyodo. Among the onmyodo-based observances were hagatame, susuharai, and migushiage. The first, hagatame, entailed feasting on certain foods, rice cakes, radishes, venison, melons, and so on, for the purposes of receiving strength and long life. The second, susuharai, was the literal cleaning of a person's residence in the twelfth month in preparation for the new year. The third, migu shiage, was the ceremonial burning of cut fingernails and toenails, hair lost from the head, and hair ties used during the year. The origins of all three practices are obscure. In fact, it is likely that their link to Onmyodo came rather late historically. Nonetheless, they became part of Onmyodo's domain because they had to be carried out on auspicious days, divined by the Bureau of Yin and Yang's Onmyoji, and they were practices that were revived in the reunification era. In conclusion, many of the aspects touched upon in Mao have antecedents in historical concepts, and Kamo no Yasunori and Abe no Seme are both true historical figures that were central to the foundation of Onmyodo in Japan during the 11th century. However, their modern influence has extended to a number of manga, anime, video games, and film. Perhaps none are more significant than that of the classic series Taito Monogatari, or Doomed Megalopolis, which has had its own influences on Takahashi's Mao.